Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. And this is the facts of the matter. Are you a parochial or world Christian? Jesus made it abundantly clear that you and I are to think globally. Go and make disciples of all nations. You shall be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. As a business or professional person, you are uniquely positioned to help fulfill the Great Commission in three ways. resources at first when I pre-read this I looked at it and I was like oh. but just it takes money to get the message of the cross it takes money to get the message of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth if God has given you the gift of making money Romans chapter 12 verse 8 or he that exhorteth on exhortation he that giveth let him do it with simplicity he that ruleth with diligence he that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness then you have a unique opportunity and responsibility to distribute resources towards his cause There is a greater problem than need. Greed. Commendables, as it may be, compassion for the hungry and starving is not the best we can do. As long as we give simply out of abundance and allow such giving to justify continual acquisitions beyond our needs. If the Lord gives you the ability to make money and to have extra money, you should be giving it to the needy, the hungry, the ones who are truly in need, not to the ones who don't really deserve it. The ones that need it are your fellow man who are in need the hungry the poor the needy the homeless your fellow Christian man and woman not the ones that have enough money that they're just sitting upon it to access it has been estimated that by the year 2000, 85% of the world, 85% of the world's lost live in countries close to traditional missionary entry. The only other means of personal access is through the business and professional person. Today, most developing countries are crying out for the kind of expertise you possess. But this is a big, but this is big league, big league stuff. So only those possessed of courage, vision, know-how, and determination need apply. Meaning someone like me, I wouldn't do good going over there only because I'm still nervous, anxious. Now these street 
evangelists and these big time evangelists that are not saying that I ain't doing what I'm supposed to be doing because I am I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing now if he called me to go over there then of course I, we would go I'm not saying that I wouldn't don't take it that way please I'm saying I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing but the big ones that get called to go over there that have the courage the vision the know-how determination to just stand there without worries they should be the ones that are going over there to evangelize to these countries the ones that are called to do it not just because you feel like you're gonna go over there and do it no you have to be called to do it influence number three influence because the majority of the developing countries still recognize the West for its advanced expertise, you as a business or personal, professional person have leverage to influence. So here is the question. Are you a parochial or a world Christian? One as a test in answering that question is to take a hard look at the ledger in your checkbook. Does the pattern of your check writing over the past several months reflect a person possessed with a parochial or world perspective? For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew chapter 6 verse 21 and I'll read it again. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. If you prefer to store up your treasures on earth, then you're earthly. If you prefer to store up your treasures in heaven, then you're heavenly. If you prefer to give more than receive if you are giving to the needy the homeless the ones that actually truly desperately need your help then rock on you guys are doing amazing and continue to do it if you tend to say I don't have the money for that I'm sorry that's just not maybe you should reevaluate what you're doing earlier this week Douglas had to borrow from petty cash at work yesterday it was paid back and not by us either one of his fellow Christian workers came up to him at lunch yesterday and told him don't worry about that money it's been taken care of and I know that was from the Lord and I as soon as he came in and told me we were praising the Lord over it because we knew I said she's a Christian ain't she he said yes right off the bat no questions whatsoever when you see somebody who is in need and you can help them it is your Christian responsibility duty privilege I like that one privilege to help them in the areas that they need help instead of being greedy with your money if God gives you much you give much if God gives you little you give little you give what you can 
You don't just keep it and hide it in the ground waiting for him to come back. And that is the facts of the matter. For Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys so very much. God bless.